Hey there guys and welcome to another Autodesk Fusion 360 video. Uh, we're up to um, introduction tutorial basics number 8. You can see here uh, the other projects that we've done. Uh, so if you're not familiar with Fusion and you're new, you can follow along from tutorial basics number 1 through to here. Um, we've been covering each of the different create tools here. Um, and uh, now I'm going to look at... Um, some of the modify tools and um, shelling. So if we want to create a uh, object um, that is hollow but has a wall thickness to it then we would use a shell tool. So uh, we'll begin by just creating a basic primitive. We'll go with a box. Uh, we'll make it 35 by 35 and we'll extrude it 35 up. Okay, so there we have our basic box shape here. Now at the moment, um, this is uh, solid all the way around. And if we were to um, make an intersection through here, uh, so we go to the inspect tool and go to section analysis. And we grab section through the middle. You'll see right now this is a solid block. So uh, this could be akin to a solid block of wood or whatever it is, but it's solid all the way through. Now, if we turn our analysis off and we go to the modify and um, go to the shell tool, we can select the face that we are going to remove um, and then we can set our thickness, let's say two millimeters inside thickness. So this now will give us a box, as you can see, with a, a, um, a hollow inside with a two millimeter thickness wall. So of course now if we look at our analysis, we're looking now through the wall of the box here. Um, two millimeters all the way around. How about that? So if we were to then want to make this box wall thicker, say we decide that we want it to be thicker, we can go to... Um, the modify tool and we can go to push pull and we can select faces at the moment it's two millimeters we can make it three and you'll see that pulls the inside in and we've now got a three millimeter thickness to our wall all the way around the box now let's make a lid for this we'll go just create sketch and we're going to choose this upper edge as the surface of um, our sketch so this is going to be our sketch plane so if we select that, and I go to finish sketch, and then to extrude, we're going to extrude this edge and the inner part there. And we will extrude this up by three millimeters also. And now when we do this, you'll see there's uh, different options. So if we were to go for join, it will actually join it up and make us a hollow box, as you can see here, um, but not accessible. So this would be the equivalent of a hollow box. So maybe if you were um, doing a 3D plastics print, you don't want to print it um, solid to save yourself on plastic printing. You could print it like this, for example. Now, if we go back and we extrude, but this time we go to create a new body and we're going to extrude it by, again, three millimeters um, to a new body. Okay, now you'll see under our bodies list here, we actually have two different bodies. We've got our main body and we've got the lid that we just created there. So this is a separate piece now that could be lifted on and off. Now, let's do something else. Let's hide our main body, rotate around underneath, and uh, make the sketch that we had before visible again. And we'll extrude the inner part of this sketch And we'll extrude it down by a couple of millimeters. So minus two. Hit enter. Now we have a step to the inside of our box there. We had the sketch again. And we go to the analysis view. And you can see our lid now has a nice fitting to it around the lip there. Now, of course, we need a um, handle on the lid in order to be able to open and close this. So we choose uh, a new surface as our sketch, that would be the top here. And let's mm, draw a circle centered on the box. We'll make that five millimeters in diameter. 
finish sketch and what happened here is our sketch gone let's try again upper surface here circle starting in the center point five millimeters finish sketch seems to be drawing on a different surface what's going on Ah, our sketches are hidden, that's why. Sorry about that. So, where are we? Select this as our surface, circle tool, center point, uh, five millimeters, finish sketch, there we go. And uh, extrude. We'll go five millimeters up and select this surface we'll make another circle but we'll make this 10 finish sketch and we'll extrude this up by about three millimeters now we have our lid that might be a little bit high so we'll go to our uh, push pull tool we'll pull that down by two millimeters maybe we'll cut the top down by two millimeters as well so cut tool and now finally we'll go to fillet we'll round this edge and there we go there's the lid and our handle to lift the box. So that's uh, basically how you create a uh, hollow object here in Fusion 360 using the shell tool and how you can thicken the walls um, by using the push-pull tool. So this is useful if you want to create an object um, that maybe you're going to injection mold later or 3D print or something like that um, or maybe you're going to be CNC machining it or whatever it is. Um, that you want to design, that's how you hollow out the inside of a shape. Of course you can do it with more complex shapes um, which I'll cover in some other tutorials. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you next time on Fusion 360 tutorials.